All right, this is P6, uh, talking about rational expressions. Uh, we're going to simplify numbers that must be excluded from the domain of a rational expression. Simplify rational expressions, multiply rational expressions, divide rational expressions, add subtract rational expressions, and simplify complex rational expressions. So, should be a fun little section here. First thing we're talking about, uh, specify numbers that must be excluded from the domain. So uh, to do this, basically a rational expression, uh, we've talked about these, it's rational because it's a fraction, so that basically uh, is what we're talking about in these fractions. Um, and also, uh, it's an expression because there is no equal sign. Uh, and make sure that you're aware of this because uh, later on when we're doing stuff, uh, we'll be doing rational equations and the steps will be completely different. So. Let's see if we can't figure out what we're talking about here. Uh, to do this, uh, what we have is we have something like this. And we're trying to find the excluded values from the domain. And what that means, it means the values that when plugged in will not give us a real number answer. So as you can see, it's a fraction. The reason we have problems is there's a variable in the denominator. And what we can't do in terms of fractions, there's just one thing we can't do. And the one thing we can't do is divide by zero. And the reason that we can't divide by zero is because that gives us an undefined value. Okay, division by zero is impossible. There's no definition. We don't know how to do that. So uh, on a problem like this, uh, you can see the steps here. First of all, what we're going to do is factor, especially the denominator. We're going to set each factor equal to zero and solve. So looking at this one right here, as you can see, the denominator is already factored. So when you set the denominator equal to zero and solve, you get x is equal to 2. Okay, and that's the actual the excluded value, okay? Because if you plug 2 in for your variable x, it will have you uh, give you 4 divided by 0, which is impossible. Now on this one, uh, we can factor this. This is a difference of squares. So x plus 1 times x minus 1. When you set both of these equal to 0, you'll get x to be equal to negative 1 and x to be equal to positive 1. So those are the excluded values, because when you plug those values back in, uh, those are the values that are going to make you divide by zero. So that's how to find excluded values. Factor the denominator. Set all of the factors in the denominator equal to zero and solve. If there's a variable, you'll get one. You don't have to worry about a number. Like if I had, uh, if this were in parentheses, and I had a two right here, you don't need to set the two equal to zero because that can't be zero. It's a constant. All right, so uh, only the variables are what we're concerned about. 